The friendship torch in the foreground and the Tower of the Americas behind it. Two of the signature sites here in San Antonio, Texas. It's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. are nearly ready for the tip-off, but first, let's hear from our very own David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. You may recall that in 2014, the Spurs played maybe the three most perfect games in finals history. With passing and three-point shooting, they vanquished the Heat and inspired a new wave. Brett Brown, who was then a Spurs assistant, said Greg Popovich had a name for it. Summertime. As in, the game's flowing, good shot to great one, and there it is. It's summertime. Kevin? That's a terrific story. David, thank you. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement, and you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Kemba Walker is out there with Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Bradley. And it's... Dort in at the small forward. And for the Spurs, they've got Ricky Rubio. Rudy Gay is out there with the Rosie. Then there's Purdy. And it's Walker in at the two. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. Don't you love the chemistry? Those guys work so well together in the open floor. Rubio with it. He picked up 18 points in the last one against the Clippers. And his passing also off the charts in that game. In just about every aspect of their offense, he was dialed in. Rudy Gay's always had that shot in his back. Lethal from mid-range. And a wide-open look for Walker. Bangs home the trifecta. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Rubio outside. And the pass to Walker. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Bradley, no one around him. And the first shot of the night for him, missing. Okay, that's a two-pointer. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside, Walker takes a three. And the Thunder, another three. This guy is so elusive as a scorer, Kimball Walker. Even with the defense being there, he's too quick, too confident, too skilled to stop. 
Rubio finds Walker. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. A confident shooter from deep. When you give Gilgis Alexander space to pull the trigger, he's not going to hesitate. Rubio, the pass to DeRozan. Fades and shoots. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. It's a three-point game. Boy, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. And you watch DeRozan play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Thunder have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Here's Bradley. Good. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Craig, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. Gilgis Alexander. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Gilgis Alexander's got seven. And hard to blame the defense there. I mean, I just love how focused Gilgis Alexander is no matter who's on it. And DeRozan throws it down. Well, the finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And a wide-open look for Walker. Barry's the long-range jumper. Nine points in the game so far. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Walker dishes to Bradley. Dort passes to Walker. And he banks in the layup. You know, Walker isn't afraid of getting into the paint and going for it. I mean, he's fairly clever for a little guy down there. Passes it to K. The Thunder pull it in. The last encounter was in Oklahoma City. Well, they, they coasted to the win in that one. Were dominant in the rebound department, and that was a huge factor. And, you know, one of the things about winning the physical battle like they did in that game, it gives you a lot of confidence going into the next meet. You know you can push this team around in the paint and win the physical battle. Here's Gilgis Alexander following the score by Jakob Berto. Holds it up there for Gilgis Alexander. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And DeRozan throws it down. And right there, Rubio doing what he does. Seeing the floor, exploring the defense, finding the open man, and getting him the ball. Now, here's Walker. What a tremendous game he played against Utah. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Rubio looking it over. It's tipped. It's stolen by Brandley. And now a fast break for the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander's got the ball. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Bertle's shot is off. Here's Dort. Money from the wing. Spurs trail by three. Rubio outside. Here's DeRozan. And it's off the back rim. No good. Oklahoma City's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. And Dort gets it to go. And the Thunder lead by five. San Antonio's gone four of seven from three-point land so far in the first. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call. And there were a ton of them. 
Uh, a few guys, though, well, so Gary Payton, I got a, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him when we used to go at it in high school. And it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, you know, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scottie Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. And a chance here to check out some stamps for him. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. City on D. Leading by five. Pass to Vassell. There's Lyles on deep. Jerome with the rebound. And, and already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Here's Murray. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. No good again that time. The Thunder leading by eight. To Gildas Alexander. A really good rebound in traffic. That's what the big fella's there for. Now the pass to Vassell. And it's good off the back rim and in. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Always producing results. Gilgis Alexander has proven to be such a reliable scorer. Murray surveying the deep. Woo! Say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And uh, how is the last shaping up, guys? Well, let's uh, take a moment here to check it out. Now that the midseason grind is well underway. Look at San Antonio. This hasn't been the kind of year they envision. Time running out. And, of course, Oklahoma City right on their tail, vying to move up and take over if they get the chance. And, you know, right now for San Antonio, they talked all offseason about how this year was going to be different. Nobody bought into it then, and nobody's buying into it now. Yeah, and it's too bad, really unfortunate, because I did think the potential was there. But at this stage, I think we've seen their best, and it's not going to be good enough this season. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Here's Vassell. Eight points his last outing. To the paint. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Well, you know what? You don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up. You got to be mindful of that. So much. And the dunk by Lyle. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. San Antonio shooting their first foul shot of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And guys, I'd have to credit the work they put in at the free throw line to practice this season. Mind the I mean, because they Mind have the noticeably improved shot. since a year ago. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Leafs checked in. 
Frank, for those teams that did make a deal with the trade deadline, how hard is it to integrate a new player midseason? Well, you know, guys who need the ball to be effective, it, it can be harder to integrate. Uh, but for certain role players, it's just how quickly they learn the system. Uh, so it, it's a tough call either way, especially if you have to go into a new environment where the terminology and everything's different. Uh, it, no doubt my experiences in having guys traded to be a part of our teams, it, it was a tough transition for most of them. Did you ever do it as a player? did it yeah and, and it was it's tough you know the it's not just the team i mean you uprooted you might have to leave your family uh, if the kids are in school i mean there are a lot of factors that go into it that just don't revolve around what happens on the court pushing it up launches the three a three-pointer is right on target vassell's got it all tied up now for the spurs we've got 113 left in the first Leaf passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Ojale. He's guarded by Johnson. Pass to Baisley. Shot from the top of the key. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Oklahoma City shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And they've increased their percentage quite a bit since last season, guys. The first one falls. Chris, he's checked in for San Antonio. Mills comes in for Murray. And so he makes both from the line. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Mills. Tight defense on him. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA. But he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself. Accelerates off shoot, of screens. Shoot. Can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. first free throw is good yeah you know the Australian Mills continues to prove his value I mean he's extremely good in the locker room he hustles all the time and he's um, a guy who earns and um, demands respect because of his attitude and consistency and good on the second so he makes them both and, and what an advantage you really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line Here's Jerome. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. Here's Gilgis Alexander. They get it again. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Oklahoma City shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Mills looking it over. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Thunder with the lead. Passes it to Baisley. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. 
The Thunder have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Shooting one. Now Mills. Nine point game is last outing. to Vassell. Let's the free fly connect from three-point range. Vassell's got ten points in the game. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Shea Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll return shortly. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Leaf is out there with Ojale, and it's Baisley in at the four-man position. Here's Vassell. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander, there's the pass to Chris. Here's Lyles and the dunk by Lyles. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. Vassell, no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Got a piece of it. Leaf, no good. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Gildas Alexander. Here's Jerome. Good on the baseline, Jay. And the Thunder lead by four. And it's Mills with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And it says a lot about you that even when you're not at your best, they definitely were still in that game and able to win comfortably. They were better than the box score might indicate because they were solid in execution, more so than the stats would show. And so it's Oklahoma City with it, following the three-pointer by San Antonio. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. The Thunder have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. And it's blocked. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Mills has got the ball. And the basket by Vassell. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Spurs. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is, is run. I mean, so much of their offense has come off the fast break. Now here's Johnson. After the miss from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This one for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Gilgis Alexander's got 19 points. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Mills passes to Chris. Now, here's Lyles. He's got five. Pass to Chris. It's tipped. And now, here's Gilgis Alexander, the fast break chance to the left side wing. Cans the shot from the wing. And now a three-point Oklahoma City lead. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. 
Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game. We played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. All right, a chance to look at some stats for Rubio. How last month turned out for him, he's averaging eight points, six assists, and three rebounds. And, and while the numbers are decent, I really feel like he can do more. Yeah, you know, his issue is more mental right now, I think. He just needs to block out the distractions and get back to being the star that he is. And a breakdown here, guys, the hustle stats for the Thunder. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing the turnovers. The, the other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. The free throw drops for Pirtle. And Jakob Pirtle, he's carved himself a good chunk of rotation minutes with how he's played. Yeah, I love his game. I like his agility. I like his hands, his touch. I mean, he's a big, mobile guy. Um, I think he's gotten to a good spot where he's dangerous in pick and roll action now, too, Greg. A solid defender. A guy like that is always going to find minutes. Well, I tell you, that's a nice job by Rubio. Eyes up, examining, exploring the defense, then on point with the delivery. Now, here's Brad. He's coming off a 19-point game against Utah. And also four blocks. I mean, just an important factor on both ends. And they pick up two. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Rosen finds Rubio. Here's Walker. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. From deep, Walker. That's a miss, and with it, he is five for nine. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. DeRozan's shot is off. Oklahoma City's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter. So far. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Yeah, really left him no choice there. I mean, he had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. The Thunder shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And he knocks down the first one. Rudy Gates checked in for Trey Lyon. So Bradley nails both of them. Spurs have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Here's DeRozan. Walker with the rebound. And Walker's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And Dortch gets it to go. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Here's DeRozan, and finished off by DeRozan. You know, it's really the defining part of DeRozan's game, driving the basketball hard at defenders, and he'll come right at you with athleticism and strength. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Spurs trail by five. Bounce pass, Rubio releases from 15. 
And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And the floor awareness of Walker, impressive there as he got the ball to the open man. San Antonio's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. It's stolen by Bradley. Balls knocked loose. Stolen by Gay. DeRozan in the corner. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got three assists in the game. Hey, watch out now, guys. When he's effective with that three-point shot, I really believe it adds to DeRozan's game, makes him more effective on his drive. Walker's shot is off. San Antonio's gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're 3-3 three of three on three-pointers. Here's game. Akusevsky grabs the miss. Akusevsky's got his fourth rebound in this one. Dort passes to Walker. Down low, and they call an illegal screen here. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. The Spurs making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Spurs trail by five. And here's DeRozan. He had 19 points in the win against the Clippers. And he also controlled the backboard as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. Spurs shooting at 50% in a decent group. Yes, it is. Score that as a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Walker. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got rebound number five here tonight. The Thunder leading by three. Dort passes to Walker. Sinks the triple. Walker's got 15 points. And Walker always shot ready. This is why you can't lay off of him, especially when the ball's going towards him. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. San Antonio making a switch here. Some that just check in. Here's where Oklahoma City sits in the NBA statistical standings right now. Spurs passing it around. Murray dishes to DeRozan. Passes to Gay. Oh, the lob to DeRozan. Five on the clock. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Murray for three. And he's good on the three ball. He has seven. And when Hurdle sees a guy on his team open, he finds him right away, whipping that pass there directly. Walker doesn't get it to drop for him. So the Spurs will take it the other way. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Kemba Walker. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't Take been coming break. nearly Take as easily as they Two used shots. to. First one falls for him. How about this little nugget, guys? Uh, when Murray earned all defensive second team honors in his rookie year, he became the youngest player in NBA history to make the all defense team. And so Murray nails both of them. 
Oklahoma City's gone four or six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Walker against Murray. Here's Dort. An 11-point game for him in the win against Utah. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist totals show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Murray. He's got nine. Pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Bradley. And it's blocked by Bradley. The pass to Torch. Back to Bradley. Tipped away. And here we go with DeRozan running it up the middle. Can't cash in from close range. The Thunder with the lead. To the middle. Brittle with the ball. Now guarded by Bradley. Murray outside. Gay outside. Lets it go with a three. Hits it from three-point range. Gay's got five now. This is something Gay has steadily improved on over time. A dangerous shooter from beyond the arc now. Walker against Murray. And Walker kicks to Clark. Here's Dort. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough catch here. Murray against Clark. Murray, the pass to Purdy. And the jump by Purdy. Oh, and Murray's court vision, very sharp. And he's unselfish, too. You love seeing that combination. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. They're yeah, trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And a chance here to look at the numbers for Murray. Putting up about 12 points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. And, and while the numbers are decent, I, I really feel like he can do more. Yeah, you know, his issue is more mental right now, I think. He just needs to block out the distractions and get back to being the star that he is. Here's Jerome. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know, you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumps. Really good point. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside create space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside so it works hand in glove no matter what looks they get they just can't convert to stop this run and you know they've got to be careful this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball well, i don't think he's performing up to his own expectations but they still find themselves out in front and no need to rush this let the clock run down yeah don't give them another possession here Oh, oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance foul. for the and one. Elbow. Two. The Spurs have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. And the Thunder making a switch here.
and he makes both free throws. With one on the clock, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've done a lot of great work. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. They're in better shape now than they were at one point when they trailed by eight. Even though he's been a 20-point scorer for almost a decade, it seems everyone wants more from DeMar DeRozan. Big fella, is that a fair take from fans? You know, with analytics taking over, I think people are complaining about the lack of three points he makes. Mm. But to me, 20 points a night is 20 points a night. It's simple math. 32 plus 2 is 5. 2. DeRozan still an efficient scorer, honey. And if you, you know, if you don't want that flashy guy running around, but you want an efficiency, you get it from DeMar DeRozan. 2 plus what? I just caught that. 2 plus 2 is 6, you heard me. No, it's 5.5. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Thunder trailing by 10. You've got Jakob Pertl. DeRozan out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's Ricky Rubio. And it's Walker in at the two spot. That's the San Antonio 5. Inside. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Good seeing Walker work on his passing. I mean, the more he shares it, the better his teammates become. Pass to DeRozan. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. DeRozan's got the lead up to 10 now for the Spurs. This is it to Bradley. Here's Pakusevsky. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Over Walker. They get it back. Bradley off with the layup. Spurs leading by 10. Right side, DeRozan. 16 feet away. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. The Thunder have gone one of three since starting the second half. Shoot it, shoot it. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. Good on the triple. Gilgis Alexander's got 22. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. A 15-footer. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. Thunder trailing by seven. The pass to Dort. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Gilgis Alexander against Walker. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And now here comes Gay leading the ball. Oh, that was worth the price of admission. Put that one on the highlight reel. Gay throwing it down with authority. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Bradley kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Walker. Doesn't go either for Gilgis Alexander. Spurs leading by nine. Well, a look at Lonnie Walker, the 18th pick in that 2018 draft. He's being brought along slowly as the team loves his potential. But he has a lot to smooth out with his game. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. And here now the Thunder. Thunder trailing by nine. 
Greg, you talk about the upside with Lonnie Walker. This team loves his athleticism. You know, not the typical Spurs-type player we've seen targeted in the past. Uh, an athletic maniac who can fly end to end. The polish to his game will come. It's just going to take some time. The Spurs have gone two of four here to start the second half. And DeRozan kicks to Gay. Back to DeRozan. Outside, Walker. Outside, DeRozan. Five to shoot over Bradley. DeRozan's shot is off. And Walker's got the ball here for Oklahoma City. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Rubio with the rebound. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this court. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. The Spurs have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. Chris, he's checked in for the Spurs. How about this, fellas? I mean, DeRozan's aerial skills, his bounce obvious from a very young age. His first dunk came when he was in the sixth grade, and he won the dunk contest at the high school All-American game. Major bounce. Walker dishes to Bradley. It's blocked. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. Shot's good by Walker. Walker's got 16 points. It just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Let's take a moment now, Kevin, to see how the Spurs are doing in the NBA statisticals currently. You know, and I go back to the, their low turnover numbers. It's not one of those stats that jump out at you, but trust me, turnovers kill you. And their ability to limit their mistakes has been huge. And here comes Walker, leading the fast break. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You got to stay physical and stay aggressive if you're Rudy Gay. Force the defense to make some mistakes. The Spurs have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. good from Gay. Well, Rudy Gay is a multi-talented and gifted athlete. I mean, he's an excellent shooter, a versatile defender, and continues to play at a high level. And the Thunder making a switch here. Baisley's checked in. And so he hits both. Under trailing by 17. Walker the pass to Baisley. And he lobs it toward the rim. An emphatic LU jam. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10 0 run by the Spurs. Pass to Gay. A floater. And finished off by Gay. Boy, good instincts and timing on display there from Gay. Excellent anticipation. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He doesn't hit that one. And the Spurs going the other way now. 
Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end, and it's had a ripple effect on the team. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. First free throw is good. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Clark, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Both free throws good from Rubio. And you know, guys, when you watch Rubio, he, he's one of the most hyped international prospects ever. Well, scouts were right about his ability to manage the game. Though. And Clark, because of COVID, the timeline for this season has been altered. Are you ready for more summer basketball? Man, I tell you what, Kevin, I'm not sure. I've always been a proponent of the season being shorter at the NBA level. I know it's impossible. The toothpaste is out of the tube in terms of obligations on the media front. Sure, too. But I think the league would be better served starting a little bit later, ending sooner. If summer basketball has to happen at the NBA level, I, I would hope it's the last time we have to do deep summer basketball. I think it's more of a winter sport that trickles into the late spring versus being a summer game at the pro level. Good on both. San Antonio with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. And the jam by Rudy Gay. Yeah, it's important for Gay to be able to finish in traffic. I mean, he's so much better when he shows some physicality and toughness. Here's Dort. 16 points for him. Here's Walker. Nice form on the 20-footer. Walker's got 17. Here's DeRozan. The six foot seven native of Compton, DeMar DeRozan, getting it done. Great strength there. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Free throw drop for DeRozan. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Thunder. Passes to Dort. Back to Walker. Rebound, San Antonio. Chris has got his fourth rebound in this one. And finished off by Walker. And really the story of this second half team getting the shots they want the other not so much and that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams Walker's shot is off Spurs leading by 22 here's Gay and the jam by Rudy Gay Gay an outstanding player finishing with power doesn't get any easier than that Oklahoma City has gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break Walker the pass to George Here's Baisley. It's deflected. And oh, here we go. Gay's got it. The fast break chance. Wasted no time on that one. Eight points for him. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're time way time ahead now. in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Yeah, and his shot selection, iffy. At best tonight, a lot of forced, contested shots this game. He'll be lucky if he just gets a talking to here instead of a, a ticket to the bench.
Trey Lyles checked in for DeMar DeRozan. Looking at the numbers for Rudy Gay, he's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. He's around 18 points per game, eight rebounds, and two assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Pass to Lyles. Right side to Walker. Tries again. Oh, that's blocked. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. The big dunk at the end of the break. Oh, fellas, that was vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Here's Gay. It's hauled in by Leaf. Leaf's got rebound number five here tonight. Pulls up for three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And this is the time they wanted to mount the rally and get back into it. Exactly. I mean, it had to happen here in the third. Now they've got the run going, and I think they've got to keep it going now. Here's Rubio. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, catching the defender slightly out of position that time. Rubio takes advantage, now goes to the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? We've seen some obvious improvement in his free throw shooting since last year. And that one falls for Ricky Rubio. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Both good from the line that time. Here's Jerome. Just Alexander with it. The pass to Dort. Stolen. And again, San Antonio running the court in transition. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. San Antonio making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Shooting one. Oklahoma City's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the effort level of Gilgis Alexander drew rave reviews from his college coach as the hardest worker and most coachable player on the team. First trip to the line for him here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. San Antonio making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Alexander hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when 
you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Thunder shooting the ball at 42%. Here's Jerome. They grab their own miss. Count the basket. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. At least check in for the Thunder. This is his first free throw of the game. First one falls for him. So he gets them both. Oklahoma City's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Jerome passes to Ogilvy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Again, the Thunder score. Largely because of that length, Gilgis Alexander feeling confident attacking inside. Johnson outside. Pass to Vassell. Top of the key. And Oklahoma City again with the bucket. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Here's Samanich. Passes it to Lyles. Here's Vassell. Gilgis Alexander covering. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And, guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. Free throw good, Murray. Jakob Pertles check in for the Spurs. So Murray nails both of them. Under trailing by 20. Dort passes to Bradley. Here's Dort. Pass to Ogilvy. Six to shoot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this young man, a rising scorer who continues to improve. Gilgis Alexander may soon be the focal point of every opponent's scouting report. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the stripe. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. To the inside. And there's the pass to Vassell. Again, the miss by the Spurs. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Bradley kicks to Gilgis Alexander. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And then Murray with the jam. Yeah, you know, Murray plays with an intelligence and a poise that belies his years. I mean, 
This guy rarely forces things. He's very good at allowing things to come to him and just has a nice rhythm and pace he plays with. Here's Jerome. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And boy, I tell you what, he's really coming to his own this year. I mean, that is an enormous step up from what he shot at the line last season. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he gets both of the shots. And Murray's got the ball here for the spur. It's an 18-point lead. Pass to Simonich. Back to Murray. Inside. Here's Vassell. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Vassell's got five points now in the quarter. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And it's Gilgis Alexander in the corner. Rebounded by the Spurs. Pirtle's got nine rebounds now tonight. Fires for three, and the basket by Vassell. Vassell's got 23 points. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Jerome passes to Bradley. From the stripe, a rebound by the Spurs. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. And here we go. Here's Dort. Off the left rim and up. And here again, the Spurs in transition. Up the court they go. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. And so it's San Antonio. Holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can go out an assist or two when he needs to. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Ojale is out there with Miller. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then it's Mike Muscala. And it's Jerome in at the point guard. Dotson. The Spurs rebound. Passes it to Mills. Just five to shoot. Takes the three, and the three ball is good. Mills has got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Spurs. The Thunder shooting a mediocre 41% in this one. To the middle. Jerome passes to Miller. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. The turnaround jumper. Count it. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points in the game. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. We hear about the extinction of great NBA big men. Do you see it that way? And if so, 
Greg, is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position that has changed? You know, you think back to the likes of Russell, Wilt, Kareem, and Hakeem, and Robinson, and Shaq. You know, some would say, well, we just got lucky. But in a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis, yep. you look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and the way he plays the game. I mean, LeBron, in essence, is a big man. I mean, you still can dominate the game as a big. It's just that you now can actually, in some respects, have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game. Shooting two. The first one falls, and the Thunder with some changes. T.J. Leaves checked in for Mike Muscala, and it's Kenrich Williams in for Gilgis Alexander. He's perfect from the line this time. San Antonio's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Mills passes to Dotson. Outside to Rosen. Now we know the TV networks have brought more revenue, Greg, to the NBA. The expectation is for another bump when they renegotiate in 2023. You know, at the same time, though, Kevin, with all the cord cutters out there, the league looking to make the game more accessible to those fans. I expect that to be a big part of this next deal. Right, on your tablet, your smartphone, or your computer. Mm -hmm. Poke loose, Williams with the steal. Here's Leaf. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Let's it go from 14. And it's DeRozan missing. Under trailing by 21 to the paint. Here's Clark, and it's Clark with the jam. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Clearly going to take a lot of work, no doubt about that, but it's not impossible. You need plays at both ends of the floor, and you got to have a bunch of them. And finish off by DeRozan. Boy, how about how vertical DeRozan gets? Robs the defense of a chance to contest, and the bench, they are absolutely loving that. Oklahoma City moving it around. Jerome, good. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Miller kicks to Clark. Down to five on the shot clock. Miller outside. Here's Jerome. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. Jerome's got ten points now, just in this quarter. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Teams will make substitutions. Set it up, set it up, bring the play in. 
Demar Derozan on the wing. Down low. Here's Rubio. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. High percentage look there, guys. Rubio's best chance to score, and he maxed it out. I got ball. Rubio against Walker. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Walker's got 19 points. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. First free throw is good. Greg, you know, we're seeing players take control of their free agent destiny. Do players get a bad rap for that in switching teams? It, uh, listen, I think, I don't know if you get a bad rap, but you're going to catch the wrath of the fan base. You think of Paul George uh, and Indy or Katie and OKC, and fans, they, they're going to feel guilty. There's no doubt about it. They're going to feel scorn. Yeah. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Oklahoma City. He kicks to Bradley. Here's Hakusevsky. Oh, Kev, he put some <laughs> anger behind that one. You're telling me. Treated the rim like it stole something from it. Going the jam by DeRozan. DeRozan is a man on a mission tonight. I don't know if I've ever seen DeMar any sharper than this. There's Walker with the three. The rebound by the Spurs got his fourth rebound in this one. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Outside Bradley. Inside. And Dortch gets it to go. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Rubio against Walker. Nobody near game. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Rubio's got his seventh assist here tonight. Outside Bradley. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. And scouts question whether Gilgis Alexander could finish through contact. There's your answer. Rubio outside. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Mark, we know guys like LeBron and Michael Jordan will look for any perceived slight as a form of motivation. Was that something that you ever did as a player? You know, Kevin, I really didn't go down that road. Now, had I played longer at the NBA level, I had a very short NBA career. Maybe I would have approached it that way. If there was a slight or if there was a player that gave you trouble and you needed to get back at him in some way, sure, you'd be motivated by that. But I don't know if I was hunting for bulletin board material. I sought to be intrinsically or self-motivated from the inside as opposed to looking for outside influences to move me forward. Oklahoma City has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Akusevsky can't hit. The Spurs have gone eight of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Miles no good. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. They get the rebound. Kuzevsky. Here's Bradley. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Oklahoma City shooting reasonably well, 45%. Hakusevsky with the bucket. Hakusevsky's got four points now in the quarter. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Rubio. Makes it off the glass. Rubio's got 11 points here in just the second half. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. 
Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Walker against Rubio. Here's Pakuszewski. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. And Oklahoma City making a change here. What's up? Antonio leading by 21 to the middle the Thunder pull it in and now running up the court Miller pushing it up that's tip now Walker here's Pirtle Bradley with some nice D here's Leaf a three-pointer no good the Spurs shooting about 47% here in the fourth. To the inside, Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Hey, look at Pirtle. Making it look easy, dropping the hammer down on the defense. Rubio against Walker. Beyond the arc. It's good from long range. Walker's got five points in the quarter. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Gay finds Rubio. Three-pointer. That's good from Gay on the assist by Rubio. Gay's got 18 points just in the second half. That gives him his second three of the half with three total for the game. Bradley passes to Gilgis Alexander. Over to the left wing. Here's Leaf. He's covered by Gay. He gets it in there. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. San Antonio leading by 21. And Rubio kicks to Walker. Count it. Gay's got 25 points in the game. What a banner night for Rudy Gay. Lighting it up. Pass to Bradley. He dishes it to Miller. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Good. And Miller gets the assist. 36 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Hey, if you're going to foul, Pirtle, I mean, get your money's worth. You have to make sure you're really whacking. He's extremely good at finishing through contact. A different look now for San Antonio. Marquise Chris, he's checked in for game. Damian Dotson comes in for Lonnie Walker. And it's Mills in for Ricky Rubio. The free throw drops for Pirtle. But Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. To the paint. Here's Leaf. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And he knocks down the first one. Rudy Gaze checked in for Jakob Bertel. And a switcher also for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 135 left in the fourth quarter. 
The pass to Mills. Here's the cell. Covered by Miller. Lays it up off the glass. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Spurs. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that, and, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. They've got one more game left against them, and there's no doubt they'll use this as a jumping-off point to take another game off them later in the year. At least, that's the plan. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Walker. Yeah, and he was relentless, nonstop energy. I mean, he just never slowed down or turned off. First free throw is good. And the Thunder making a switch here. Bill just Alexander's checked in. And so he hits both. Here's Dotson. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Vassell. Out to the right wing. The three from Mills. Buries it from three-point range. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Inside, here's Muscala. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. And, and that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks.